Why is chemotherapy still so commonly prescribed as a first line of therapy? Well, the simple answer is whatever medical system you're being treated in, uh, unless you've gone somewhere private and you're paying big, big, big bucks, and frankly, even then still, uh, most of the doctors that you're working with, most of the oncologists, are, are just so much more familiar with the administration of chemotherapy. You know that the field of medical oncology didn't even become a thing until the 70s, really, and it became a thing for the express purpose of prescribing and administering and monitoring chemotherapy. There were no other cancer drugs. There was radiation and surgery prior to that. And then, you know, in the 50s, 60s, and formally in the 70s, the field of oncology became a thing um, to deliver chemotherapy. So it's, a, it's been around. Your doctors know it. They're familiar with it. There's lots of statistics about what patients are going to get from it. And remember, your doctor is essentially trained and, and um, ha has sworn an oath to do no harm, the abundance of caution philosophy. So they start you on something that will work for about a quarter of the population for some period of time. That's what we know about chemotherapy. It'll give about a quarter of the population some significant benefit for some time. Um, and then from there, uh, they may start to offer you some other options. So really, it's, it's just been around for so long. Your doctor's very aware of it. The medical system in which you're being treated is very well established around chemotherapy, and that's really why. The other reason is genetic testing is required for all the newer types of therapies, for targeted therapies, immune therapies, antibody drug conjugates, CAR T and bites, and all of these new, very exciting therapies that are providing patients with so much benefit and so many complete responses and, and complete remission. Um, but you have to do genetic testing for that. And most hospitals don't provide genetic testing for their patients, or let me say this, they'll tell you they did, but they did some immune or uh, inherited mutations testing, looking for a handful of mutations. Uh, and that's where I want to just remind you, if you haven't heard me talk about this before, if your doctor says you don't have any markers, they tested you, you don't have any markers, just say thank you very much and then give us a call, okay? Because what they're telling you is they tested such a small number of mutations. You see, it's not possible for you to have cancer without having mutations that caused it. That's what cancer is. It's a disease of mutations of your genes. So if your doctor is saying, sorry, chemotherapy for you, that's all we can offer you, uh, you didn't have any mutations, or you have to do this first, and then maybe down the road, we'll start doing some more thorough testing and looking at targeted therapy options. You need help and you need it now, because the faster you get on the proper targeted therapy combination for you, the greater the likelihood of a complete and long-standing remission is.